Most businesses closed at the beginning of the pandemic. JBS stayed open. He was an essential worker and he went to work every day. Seven JBS employees have died from COVID-19 in Greeley. Around 300 have tested positive for the virus. Alfredo Hernandez is one of them. Para usted es difícil respirar. It's hard for you to breathe right now. Sí. It's still hard for Alfredo to do much these days. Speaking in Spanish while hooked up to an oxygen tank, he says that even walking leaves him out of breath. It was very scary. Um, at one point, they thought that my husband was going to be put on a ventilator. Rosario is Alfredo's wife. As they focus on his recovery, thousands of dollars in medical bills are piling up. They've applied for workers' compensation, but were denied and are now faced with the challenge of having to prove to a judge that Alfredo was infected while at work in order to get the money. He's been there 31 years. In states like California, a new law passed since the pandemic began presumes certain employees sick with COVID-19 caught the coronavirus at work, unless employers can prove otherwise. In Colorado, it's the opposite. Employees must provide probable proof they caught the virus at work in order to be eligible for workers' comp. Erica Alverson okay, is the Hernandez's okay. attorney. My client got exposed at the beginning of this pandemic while the state was under a stay-at-home order. So far, 2,452 COVID-19 related workers' compensation claims have been filed with the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment. More than 1,600 have already been denied, meaning the insurer is denying that they are liable for benefits. I believe he, he contacted um, the virus while at work. An essential worker who no longer feels treated like he's all that essential. In Greeley, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. There are Hernandez's hope to get a court date early 2021. JBS told us that a third party claims administrator is the one responsible for approving or denying those worker comp claims.